What's up, Nintendo Gamers? The Kid here with another Sonic Lost World update. So there's even more news out for Sonic Lost World, including box art and a more specific plot of the story and other details too. So let's get right into what they say more specifically about the story, guys. It reads... In his latest plot to defeat Sonic and rule the world, Eggman has harnessed the power of six menacing creatures known as the Deadly Six. However, when the Deadly Six rise up against their new master, Sonic must unite with his arch nemesis Eggman and explore the mythical Lost Hex in order to take them on head to head. Use Sonic's amazing new moves and incredible color powers to speed across a variety of unique terrains, racing inside, outside, and upside down in every level. And surprisingly, multiplayer is coming into the mix. It says race friends in high-speed multiplayer races. Take them down across a range of ultra-competitive levels and modes. And along with that, there are some listed Wii U exclusive features. It says, wield the gamepad to execute exclusive color powers, tilt, touch, aim, and more. Someone wants to watch TV? No problem. Play the full game using only the Wii U gamepad. So off-TV play is confirmed. Share and charge up items by sending them into the Miiverse to share with players around the world. So Miiverse integration confirmed. Play together. Have a friend pilot radio control gadgets to help Sonic by destroying enemies and objects. Race against a friend as you play on the Wii U gamepad screen and they play on the TV. They also listed exclusive 3DS features, which include color powers that won't be in the Wii U version, exclusive special stages to obtain Chaos Emeralds, and racing against friends on local and online multiplayer. So for the Wii U, it is not yet confirmed if multiplayer will just be local mode or if it will have an actual online racing mode. So whoa who knows so my opinion on all this uh let's get to that so about multiplayer yeah i just assume it was going to be racing pretty much all they can really do with a sonic game and multiplayer which will pay a lot of homage to uh sonic 2 which was really quite fun if you had a very good player to play as tails and race against each other in the levels it was really fun um, a great way to kill time, but it wasn't really that, you know, uh, should I say it was pretty basic. So, um, the fun will only last so long until it got kind of stale. So, um, hopefully the modes, the new multiplayer modes that they're going to incorporate will have a, you know, better impact on the multiplayer. That way it doesn't get stale and boring and people will just throw it away and never really play that mode. But I'm excited to see what they do with it. Um, who knows? Uh, some people are saying it's kind of a useless thing to put in a game. I'd say, hey, if the, you know, if they think it's good, put it in. I mean, it can't hurt the game um, much. You know, I really wouldn't base multiplayer on a Sonic game if I was to review it. I wouldn't really, you know, make that even put a dent in the score or anything because that's completely you know a treat for everybody not really something that gives you a overall view and opinion about the entire game so yeah about the 3ds you know being exclusive for local and online multiplayer mode um i don't know if the wii u version will have uh, multiplayer that is online they only list it local and the fact that you, one player can use the wii u gamepad screen the other uses the tv um so there's no big giant split in the tv that's really cool i think that's awesome um i think that's really cool um but at the same time i think it would be better if it had online multiplayer so maybe sega will 
you know, come out and say it, it does or doesn't sometime in the future. Because I know a lot of people are probably scratching their heads wondering if there will be online multiplayer. So with the Wisps and the color powers, um, instead of in the interview, which mostly sounded like there would just be a basic way to get to new sections of a level's areas that you haven't yet discovered, it sounds more like it will have more a, of a, um, what's the word, uh, I'm going to just say dominant, you know, mechanic in the game, you know, just like it was in Sonic Colors. You'll be using it off, often to get to certain areas that you have to get to, to to actually, you know, complete the level. And it doesn't just sound like something that they're just putting in there because, well, it's just in there to kind of give nods to that. So I'm glad that the color powers are coming back and it seems to be in full force. Um, so can't wait. I can't wait for this game to come out the 3ds version is looking very good too it's being fully 3d not that whole 2d stuff so and that's pretty much the first sonic game ever on a handheld to be fully 3d just like the console versions so that i'm really glad that 3ds owners and hopefully me a 3ds owner again in the future uh, will enjoy you know if you don't have a wii u enjoy mostly the full experience possible on the 3ds with this game so i'm glad that sega took the extra mile to make the game just as impressive and hopefully just as good as the console version so this game is coming out this year so when is it going to come out you know like what date um, Sonic games usually come out like Mario games in November or sometime in the fall, most likely in the fall. But um, what's this competition going to be up against? Um, will it be a, up against the new Mario game if that comes out this year? Uh, I'm not saying Sega has to worry because there's a lot of Sonic fans who will probably buy this game over the new 3D Mario game any day. But at the same time, I just hope that it's not too close to Super Mario so people won't be like, oh man, I gotta make a choice now because I don't have enough money in my wallet to get both. So, you know, so one one of the other doesn't, you know, suffer because both are out relatively at the same time. Hopefully they're about a month in between each other that way people could acquire them so i'm really excited for this game i cannot wait till this comes out um later this year i'm surprised it's actually even coming this year as i speculate in my other videos that i thought it was going to come probably um you know in the uh the winter time of next year um and, you know, I thought it was a fat chance of it ever coming out this year since, you know, we just got an announcement and usually Sonic games aren't almost already complete or coming out um, that time of the year unless it was announced like near the beginning of the year. So, wow, I, I cannot wait. This game looks so unique to... Um, you know, the whole parkour and stuff, it just looks like Sega is trying their best, you know, to go in a new direction instead of the Sonic Unleashed direction. Because once Sonic Unleashed came out, that's mainly how the levels have been since then, even in Colors. But Colors was a little bit different. Um, Colors was a little bit like this, minus the whole level design. Um, Colors was a lot like this game in terms of the way things are going i can tell that the boosting isn't super fast like in colors colors had a cool you know speed um speed you know effect on you it was good you knew you were going fast it felt like you were going fast but it didn't feel anywhere near you know sonic generations fast where it feels like man i'm just blowing through this level i can barely you know just see I, everything looks like a blur it wasn't like that you could see everything everything looked beautiful and you know it was a good game so i can't wait to see how this game turns out and i can't wait to see what they do at e3 and everything so guys share what you think about everything presented in this video um 
the features multiplayer and everything the off tv play which i love that's going to be in this game and also for those who are only getting it for 3ds because they yet to get a wii u tell me what you guys think about the game being fully 3d um and everything and what you think about the box art that you've seen and everything so thank you guys for watching i'll be doing more updates on sonic lost world as more things are revealed thank you for watching